Here's a look. Good night, everybody. I love you, Bobby. Say it some more. She embodied Whitney, the spirit, the sass, mm -hmm. the feisty, the cute, mm -hmm. the fun. I didn't have that much time to prepare, so I am grateful that I see similarities in us. This January 31st, he's the master of macabre, the creator of chaos, the father of fright, Vincent Price. You are about to enter hell in an all-night Price of Fear marathon. So turn out the lights, turn up the terror, and get ready to scream. It's the Price of Fear marathon, January 31st, on this. From the Valley's News Channel, this is Channel 5 News at 5. Hey, thanks for sticking with us today. I'm Melissa Correa. Oscars got the day off. We begin with new developments on those threats that prompted an entire school district to lock down. San Benito superintendent is sending out this message to parents. It explains the two and a half hour lockdown that affected all 19 campuses this morning. In the six paragraph letter, mention of the importance of each parent's phone number. San Benito CISD is urging parents to submit their current number. You see, the school district sent out an automatic message alerting them to the lockdown and some parents didn't receive it. It was the biggest joint response for San Benito police and the schools. Now at five, a closer look at those tense moments that proved to be one big reality check. After waiting behind the gates, begging for answers to questions like, is my child safe? What's happening? We care about, about our daughter. Mm -hmm. That's how come we're not going to leave until we hear something from people at the camp campus. Relief for so many who felt helpless for two and a half hours. It was like, I don't know, I thought I wasn't going to see him anymore. We were there when Monica Trejo's heart skipped a beat. I'm happy he's here because I don't know, like you never know, you know, one day you're here and the other day you're gone. There when her 11 year old nephew felt safe again. He couldn't wait for the family reunion. Hug him and probably give him a kiss. The nerves and worry sparked by a series of threatening statements. Any type of allegation, even if it's a joke, it's always better to notify law enforcement. Detective Roy Banda says a concerned citizen called police this morning. He told authorities his friend threatened to fire rounds at San Benito schools and police. San Benito CISD locked down until authorities could track down the source of those alleged threats. So he's originally from this area. But was found by authorities just outside of San Antonio this morning. An investigation is now underway. In order to determine how, how true these allegations were. It's unclear if anyone will face charges. But in the face of adversity, it's a reality check. At least one San Benito student kind of special found comfort in knowing his family stood by. We've got a closer look on where the man accused of making those threats was found this morning. San, Bel San Benito, rather, police tracked him to Pleasanton. It's just south of San Antonio. Authorities from there are now questioning him. It's unclear if he will be brought back to San Benito for further questioning. San Benito police say the concerned citizen called them before 9 this morning. San Benito CISD confirms it issued a district-wide lockdown around that time. Even central office was affected. Around 11.07 this morning, the district implemented a soft lockdown, which usually means students are free to move, but no one is allowed in or out of the school. All 19 campuses were given the all clear just before 11.30 this morning. In Brownsville, Pace Early High School College, or Early College High School, rather, was placed on lockdown around the same time the U.S. Marshals were working a case nearby, which prompted that lockdown. Brownsville lifted the order around 1115 this morning. The school district didn't provide any other information. Eight lockdowns reported so far across the valley this school year. That includes the two this morning. Travis Elementary and Hannah High School had lockdowns last Tuesday and Thursday. Back in November, Brownsville Pace and Jose Borrego Middle School in Monte Alto were also on lockdown. Those lockdowns happened four days apart. Back in October, it was McAllen High School. Before that, in September, Ignite Public School. Channel 5 News broke news of San Benito's lockdown on social media, on our website, and through an alert on our mobile app. 
Download that app today if you don't have it already. It's free and can be used on all Apple and Android phones. You can review our coverage right now online at krgv.com. Palmview police are working leads to find the gunman involved in a deadly shooting. It happened at a, outside a home on Ricardo Street last night. Witnesses told police they saw a man immediately run out, which left 24-year-old Jaime Ramos dead inside the home. An autopsy now ordered. Police did not release a description of the suspect or a possible getaway car. A Harlingen woman will spend a decade in prison. The 46 year old was caught driving while intoxicated with three grandkids in the car. Norma Cisneros Martinez was on probation for a 2010 intoxication manslaughter conviction. Last February, police arrested her again for a DWI, and as a result, her probation was revoked. Breaking new developments, Mexican authorities arrested a suspected cartel hitman and they think he planned the kidnapping and killings of those 43 students last September. Felipe Rodriguez is a member of the Guerrero Unidos gang. Officials say police in Iguala kidnapped the students and then handed them over to the gang, which killed them and burned their bodies. So far, only one student was positively ID'd. The former mayor of Iguala and his wife now face charges for those disappearances. The head of the Gulf Cartel is pleading guilty to drug trafficking and money laundering charges. Juan Francisco Science Damez was arrested in Edinburgh back in October. The feds are holding him in Beaumont. Reporter Angel San Juan shows us how the arrest isn't doing much to calm people's nerves. Roberto Castillo makes a living showcasing the Hispanic community in Southeast Texas for his Spanish language newspaper La Voz. Thursday, we caught up with him as he did a story on a new Mexican corn business on College Street. Not the story most other reporters in town were covering at the time. They were at this news conference downtown where U.S. Attorney Malcolm Bells announced the guilty plea of Juan Francisco Sainz Tamez, the head of one of Mexico's most notorious drug cartels. The things that you're seeing in the Middle East, I mean, they're learning some of those tricks from the Mexicans as far as terroristic uh, atrocities. It's that out of control violence in Mexico that's forcing families to seek safety in Southeast Texas. Castillo has seen the Avenue's neighborhood grow because of it, but he says despite the fear many Mexicans have about the cartels, there's not a lot of comfort that Sainz Tamez is off the streets. It's not make a difference, you know, not because what they stop over here in Southeast Texas, one guy is selling drugs from a Mexican cartel, they don't make any difference. U.S. Attorney Bells disagrees. He believes Sainz Tamez's conviction is a blow to drug crime in Mexico and here in Southeast Texas as well. I-10 is their tentacle into Southeast Texas. Uh, it was a principal corridor for the transportation of drugs going east. But Castillo says many of the Mexican people who now call the avenues home have been victimized in some way or another by Mexico's drug cartel. So their peace of mind won't come with just one arrest. Across the valley today, clouds thinned out. We got to see some sunshine. Remember that? What it looks like, blue sky for a while. Temperatures in the low 60s right now. Winds have gone calm. The dew point's down at 42. So with mainly clear skies and calm winds, temperatures will drop off pretty quickly tonight. So count on a chilly evening across the valley. And tomorrow, we might just hit 70. A close look at that first one five forecast coming up in a few minutes. As I bid farewell, I know the future's in good hands. Texas Governor Rick Perry delivered his farewell speech to lawmakers in Austin yesterday. Perry is the longest serving Texas governor with 14 years under his belt. He noted the economic and population boom that happened under his watch. I've been guided by a simple philosophy that job creation, not higher taxation, is the best form of revenue generation. And we've created jobs. In the last year, we've created 441,000 jobs. Rick Perry is promising to announce whether he will make a presidential run soon. Meanwhile, he continues to face serious charges. Rick Perry is accused of using his veto powers to try and oust Travis County District Attorney Rosemary Lemberg. She was convicted of drunk driving last year. She refused to resign, so the governor cut millions of dollars in state funding to her office. That funding now restored. Perry has sent more than a million dollars of his defense, some of it tax dollars.
Family members of inmates who survived a deadly wreck this week are frustrated they cannot visit their loved ones in the hospital. Justin Cree explains why. Family members are gathering at Medical Center Hospital, constantly being updated of their loved one's condition. Still shocked from Wednesday's bus and train accident, family was hoping to see them in their hospital rooms. But sister of Mermijero Pineda didn't want to be identified, but she is frustrated with the hospital's policy. I think they haven't allowed to see him or talk to him or anything, and I'm very disappointed. I want at least my father to get to see him. Jessica Gonzalez is the mother of Damian Rodriguez's five-year-old child. She hasn't told the child of his daddy's condition. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. I don't want to tell him unless there's a reason to tell him. If it gets worse, then I'll sit down and have a talk with him. But if not, no. <laughs> Medical Center Hospital is following procedure when dealing with the four inmates that were injured in the horrific accident. Our policy is a hospital policy, and it's a very common policy uh, throughout larger hospitals throughout the state. Protecting staff and other patients is the hospital's main goal, at the same time treating the inmates. We we'll know the background of, of the inmates or the prisoners, so to speak, and uh, it's really none of our business to know their background. Our business is to take care of them. Brad Timmons is the chief of police at Medical Center Hospital. He says if they allow one family to see an inmate patient, then they have to allow everyone. They can't go face to face, just like they can't visit when they're incarcerated face to face. But policy also changes if the inmate is close to death. If it looks like that they're not doing so well, if it looks like that it could be fatal, then we start taking steps to let family into the room and they get to spend time with their loved one. The families know that they are not out of the woods yet, but thankful they're alive. They're, you know, our loved ones will get out of this safely and with the grace of God's hands, you know, healed, they will be both healed. That was Justin Cree reporting. These are working together seamlessly to prevent attacks and to de defeat these terrorist networks. Two world leaders are teaming up to take down terrorists. What President Obama and the British Prime Minister are doing now. And the Ohio man who suspected of plotting a terror attack was in court today. This as fear over homegrown radicals increases. Stick with us this Friday. You're watching Channel 5 News at 5. Breaking news. Breaking stories. This is Channel 5 News with Oscar Adame, Melissa Correa, and First Warn 5 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tim Smith. This is Channel 5 News at 5. All can Harry's for a quick oil change. No one does it better, faster, or friendlier. Discover unique jewelry, plant, and gift ideas for any occasion at Azalea's Blooming Nest. New York Deli for delicious Rubens, hot pastrami, roast beef sandwiches, and more. It's the real deal. Put a little happiness in your day with homemade cupcakes, pies, cookies, and more at Happiness Cupcakes. Extreme Car Audio Plus offers auto alarms, speakers, DVD systems, and window tint for your vehicle. From historic downtown to Expressway 83, discover the Westlaco Advantage. Have you met your perfect match? I found mine with a free foundation check at Merle Norman. They've got over 200 shades to choose from. Plus, they make sure your skin looks perfectly matched and totally flawless. For the cost of free. No wonder they're called the foundation experts. The free foundation check at Merle Norman. It's a match made in heaven. Merle Norman, made in the USA. Your gift with the purchase of two or more Merle Norman cosmetic products. Looking for designer glasses? Get Coach, Fendi, Armani, and many more for the best prices at iMart Express. Or choose two complete pairs, frames, and lenses for $49. Two pairs with no-line bifocals for $99, all with a free one-year warranty. And you can wear your glasses today. We'll text you when they're ready. You get a lot more for less at iMart Express. Most insurance accepted. In Brownsville next to Target and in McAllen next to Applebee's in front of Burlington Coat Factory. And in the wake of the vicious attacks in Paris, uh, as well as the news uh, surfacing out of Belgium, today we continue to stand uh, unequivocally, not only with our French friends and allies, uh, but with also uh, all of our partners uh, who are dealing with this scourge. President Obama and British Prime Minister David Cameron met at the White House today. The two pledged to fight terrorism together. They're urging Congress not to issue new sanctions against Iran. They think it's going to crumble relations. 
Yes, I have contacted um, a couple of uh, senators this morning and I may speak to one or two more this afternoon. The U.S. and U.K. also announced a new cooperation on cybersecurity. Later this year, the two nations will hold a joint cybersecurity defense exercise. The FBI and NSA are going to work with their British counterparts to increase data sharing and coordination. This week's plot against the U.S. Capitol raising concerns about homegrown terrorism. But as Marcy Gonzalez shows us, those fears are not just in the U.S. The 20-year-old Ohio man charged with plotting to set off bombs and shoot government officials at the U.S. Capitol in court today. Christopher Lee Cornell arrested Wednesday after investigators say they learned of his violent plans and read his threatening online posts is now being held without bail. It certainly is a growing problem that more and more people are self-radicalizing. The FBI highlighting that. Sharing this video of a sting that landed this man, Amin al Khalifi, in jail in 2012, stopping what they say was another plot similar to Cornell's. I'm gonna uh, put it, everything in my body, I'm gonna go inside uh, like a, a, a real place, maybe a uh, capital. The concern about homegrown radicals growing here in the U.S. and abroad following the terror attacks in Paris. A dozen people were taken into custody in France overnight. Investigators saying some of the suspects have links to the murders at this kosher market. And police in Belgium have charged five people and arrested seven others, closing in on what they believe to be a group of radicals who were plotting to kill officers. And that all our countries are working together seamlessly to prevent attacks and to de defeat these terrorist networks. And just as President Obama was meeting with British Prime Minister David Cameron at the White House today, yet another arrest. An 18-year-old woman in the UK was taken into custody on suspicion of terrorism. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, New York. Did you see that thing in the sky today? The sun is back, likely back again tomorrow. The weekend is a little changeable, though. When we come back, your first 25 forecast will agree. Alamo, San Benito, and the rest of the valley. Next. Come celebrate with us where the party and the savings never stop. Me Fiesta. Es un fiesta. Fiesta Chevrolet Edinburgh. I'm in college. I'm in college. I'm in college. And you will too. It's never too early to start planning for college. Be in college now. Ready, set, college. A message from Region 1 ESC Gear Up. I'm outside. Where are you? I'm right here. I'm in the Buick. I don't see a Buick. Oh, got it. The expectation shattering Buick Encore. Wow. Now pay no interest for five years, plus get 1500 bonus cash on the 2014 Buick Encore. See your Valley Buick dealer. We count down the best of the weekend sports in one minute's time. 60 sports seconds. Every Tuesday night on Channel 5 News at 6 and 10 p.m. 60 Sports Seconds is supported by your friends at LNF Distributors. Budweiser. Great times are waiting. Grab some buds. Gilling Guy rule number 490. Can I help you? Just a few shots and I'll be done. Excuse me? I'm updating my page with some cool pics. I can't afford a new car. Gilman has payments that'll fit anyone's budget. That way your friends will have something real to like. Ooh. Right now at Gilman Honda, lease a 2015 Honda Civic for just $159 at Gilman Honda in San Benito. Gilman, big enough to serve you, small enough to know you. Gilman Guy Rule number 490. Like us for savings. Gilman, it's the way to go. And now, first warn five weather with Chief Meteorologist Tim Smith. I suppose you noticed bright sunshine today. The clouds, which were thick this morning, 
thinned out nicely. There's still a real thin veil of high clouds out there, but they're so thin that the sky is really pretty blue. In fact, if we check out Sky 5 right now, looking to the west from here at studios in Westlaco, there goes the sun headed down toward the horizon. Should be a nice sunset tonight. You can see some of the Sears clouds that are still out there, so it's not just a clear blue sky, but boy, in most places, there's plenty of blue up there for a change. And I think that's the way tomorrow's going to be, that mix of clouds and sun. But Boy, you should see plenty of sunshine again tomorrow. Looks like a pretty good day. Let's go back to the maps and let's see what future tracks suggest. First of all, we look at tonight into tomorrow and you see some breaks in the clouds, but you also see some of that high cloudiness out there. So like today, a mix of clouds and sun, pretty heavy on the sun. On Sunday, I think the mix will be a little heavier on the clouds but still that mix. It's just probably more clouds than sun on Sunday, and that'll help keep temperatures down just a notch or two. Tomorrow, probably hit the low 70s for the first time since December. On Sunday, probably just a little bit cooler because of the extra cloud cover and the passage of a very weak front. Saturday and Sunday then should be dry, rain-free. Uh, don't even see any chance of rain in the forecast for Saturday and Sunday. But late Sunday into Monday, a little moisture sneaks in, a little upper disturbance comes across and works with what's here to trigger maybe an isolated shower or two. Temperatures right now in the 60s valley-wide, Rio Grande City at 69 to 62 Westlaco. Brownsville checks in at 60 degrees at this hour. Because skies are clear, winds are calm, mainly clear. Temperatures tonight should drop into the mid-40s across the area, even low 40s in a few spots. But then tomorrow we bounce back. Look at this. First time we've had 70s in the forecast, almost valley-wide, the island cooler. But first time we've had 70s in the forecast like this in quite some time across the area. In fact, if you look, tomorrow about 71, 67 on Sunday, extra clouds. And then we stay in that area on Monday at 69 degrees. If there was a Tuesday, a fourth day on here, it would be warmer back in the 70s again. Rest of South Texas, 58 in Corpus Christi, 62 in San Antonio. So really everybody enjoying just a delightful day from here all the way to Lubbock. 61 degrees there, 60 in Dallas right now. Nacogdoches at 57, so it's a mild day across just about all of Texas. The clouds, we've probably seen more cloud cover than anybody else, and even those, as you know, have been thin. Still a lot of moisture to the west, and the flow is still out of the west to southwest, so that's why we don't just clear it out completely. We keep at least some moisture in the skies the next day or two as high pressure starts to move off to the east. Now, by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon, the high is all the way you know, past Louisiana, over to Mississippi and Alabama, so the flow is back off the Gulf. That warms us up a little bit. Again, low 70s. Next front slides through Sunday. Bring some clouds. There's a little disturbance back over here. See this moisture? Some of that's going to sneak into our area Monday. Give us that chance a little drizzle early and then maybe clear it out late. Tuesday looks good. Wednesday looks like when things start to change again with the next system moving in. Travel plans tomorrow. The weekend is here. You'll start in the morning in San Antonio at 44, Houston at 40 in the morning. By afternoon, most of the state in the 60s, the exception Amarillo at 54. So tonight, 48, clear and relatively cool, northeasterly winds. Then tomorrow, back up to 72, mainly sunny, a warmer day. South southerly winds at about 6 to 12. So we're 71, 67, 69, and then we're back in the 70s briefly on Tuesday. But then look how we stair step back down by the end of next week. A pretty good front Wednesday into Thursday. It's going to make a big difference, and the chilly air is just going to kind of spill in the latter part of next week. That's your updated First One Five forecast. Search crews recovered more bodies from the Java Sea in three minutes. The latest on the search efforts for Air Asia Flight 8501. And it's considered the biggest vessel to ever navigate Brownsville Ship Channel. More on the Navy aircraft carrier soon to be scrapped in the valley. Stick with me. Okay, Rowdy, you're still 2020. So what have you been up to since you had your interlacing at the Peña I Institute? the lines were drawn. We were Indians and vaqueros. We became soldiers, ranchers, entrepreneurs. We started families and formed the land. We are South Texas. Discover your story, the Museum of South Texas History. What if I told you affordable luxury is not a myth? 
Did you know that at Bird Dogden Infinity in Denver, you can get luxury, performance, safety, and affordability too. Like the 2015 Infiniti Q40 for just $279 per month. With luxury cars for less than $300 per month, you owe it to yourself to stop in today. Find affordable luxury with world-class style and exceptional service at Bird Ogden Infinity in Edinburgh. Dale gas! The all-new TRVA 2015 All-Valley RV and Outdoor Show benefiting KRGV's Teach the Children is from January 15th through 18th, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily at the RGV Livestock Showgrounds in Mercedes. Kid fish on Saturday and Sunday and only $10 per carload. At Channel 5 News, weather is job one. When weather's we breaking, a, if there's uh, going to be any weather that's going to Valley. impact your life, we're going to be on first with the storm. We'll continuously track the storm, even if that means cutting into regular programming. But we won't go off the air until the threat of the storm is over. That's what we do here at Channel 5 News. News. We're the station to watch. So when it matters most, day-to-day -day weather or a big storm, count on the First 1-5 Storm Tracking Team and Channel 5 News. Search crews recovered another three bodies from the Java Sea. The bodies will be taken back to Indonesia for positive ID. This brings the number of bodies recovered to 51. 111 people are still unaccounted for. Search crews believe most of them may be inside the fuselage section of Air Asia Flight 8501. It's still at the bottom of the sea. Bad weather is keeping crews back. David Molko has more on the search and what those black boxes revealed so far. Investigators here in Jakarta say they are beginning to connect the dots with what may have happened on board flight 8501. A senior investigator in the black box lab at the National Transportation Safety Committee saying they have almost everything they need at their fingertips. Data from both the cockpit voice recorder and flight data recorder has been downloaded and they are beginning to lay out a timeline of the final moments on that flight. Out in the search zone, divers facing a grim and difficult task. That is the recovery of bodies from the main wreckage. More than 100 believed to be trapped inside the fuselage. Uh, the current plan is to try to get inside and recover them one by one and bring them to the surface. A very, very uh, sensitive, uh, sensitive task for these divers. If that is too difficult, then they will begin to look at the operation of trying to lift the fuselage to the surface. Again, this may take some time. If you remember the recovery of the tail, that took three days. This, again, a much more sensitive process, given the fact that there are so many bodies believed to be trapped in that wreckage. Families watching this very closely. The, the big question here is just how long it will take. David Molko, CNN, Jakarta, Indonesia. Well, the weekend's here, and it looks pretty good weather-wise. If you look at tomorrow's day planner, temperatures start a little chilly, but we top out in the low 70s tomorrow afternoon. Looks like a really nice day. We'll check your forecast. When we SARS has helped me so much with finances. It's difficult for my parents to have to pay for school and even just basic necessities. STAR Scholarship has helped me financially be able to buy books and just make it easier on my family. Instead of having to work a part-time job, it's giving me plenty of money in order so I can focus on my studies. I can focus so much more on what really matters because STAR is always there to help me out. Change, it starts with you and me. Apply for the STAR Scholarship Fund today. Drive a 2015 BMW 320i for just $239 per month with no cost maintenance included for up to four years or 50,000 miles. Get your ultimate driving machine at Bird Ogden BMW in McAllen. Glad your boots out, Texas. It's back and bigger than ever. The hottest eight seconds of the year. The K-Tex National Professional Bull Riders presented by Ed Pay Motors. January 24th and 25th in Mercedes at the RGB Livestock Show Arena. Advanced tickets are available at the Bull Rider in Harlingen, Boots and Jeans in Waslico, and all the Bootjack Western Store locations. This will be a sellout, so get your tickets early. The K-Tex NPBR Bull Riders, January 24th and 25th, RGB Livestock Show Arena in Mercedes. Cowboy up, and we'll see you there. 
The USS Constellation is inching closer to the port of Brownsville. This is a look just north of the Strip Basin. Just a few hours ago, the former aircraft carrier left Washington State back in August. It will be taken apart at the port of Brownsville. The USS Constellation passed through the jetties this morning. It's expected to dock either late tonight or early tomorrow. Pretty good weather for that, huh, Tim? It was great weather to see that. Just huge ship coming. It's always cool to see something that big coming into the port like that. Weather-wise, this next several days really looks pretty good. Good. Tomorrow, we're back to 71. That'll be the warmest it's been since, well, this whole year so far. 67 on Sunday with a few more clouds. Could be an early shower on Monday. It's a little cooler, but then you look at Tuesday, a gorgeous day, and then we start to see cool air back to that oozing in kind of thing again. Notice how it just ste steps down by Friday, 57 with rain again. So we'll update that forecast for you coming up at 6 o'clock. Also at 6, One Valley School District forced to pay back millions. State investigators say Progresso ISD flubbed its attendance numbers to get more money. Our Michael Scott is about to investigate. And a new criminal case involving bail bonds and bribes. Serious crackdowns in our justice system are now exposed. We've uncovered it's a bigger problem than first thought. Stick with us, the headline in 30 minutes. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Enjoy your Friday. And tomorrow. It's Saturday, but based on the temperatures, I consider it Sunday if you get my drift. Have a good one. Closed captioning brought to you by Channel 5 and Clark Knapp Honda. I'm Chief Meteorologist Tim Smith. Do you have the KRGB weather app? It's interactive. You can track storms headed right towards your neighborhood with live radar. In fact, you can check the weather for any place you want. Check out the 10-day forecast. One touch delivers hour-by-hour -hour weather. You can see video forecast and even submit your very own weather photos. It's the fast way to get your official forecast. Download the free app available for Android and iOS devices. Supported by McDonald's, Payne Auto Group, Plains Capital Bank, and Shaw Eye Center. The Harlem Globetrotters! Get ready for the ultimate family game night. The Harlem Globetrotters Live! Unbelievable fun and an unforgettable experience for the whole family. Get your tickets now, because while childhood may not last forever, memories like this sure will. Thank you, Rio Grande Valley, for making KRGV Channel 5 News number one. From morning until night, more people depend on Channel 5 News than any other station in the valley. Number one. 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 And we thank you. You're watching KRGV, Channel 5, Westlaco. On this Friday night, preparing for active shooters, what New York City's police chief now wants amid the worldwide terror crackdown. Also tonight, inside that bus, the new images and that moment in an American quarry. The terrorist thinking he's meeting Al-Qaeda. Tonight, what we've learned about yet another case. Brazen and dangerous, the armed couple on the run tonight, crossing state lines. Authorities say the girl is only 13. Breaking news from the Supreme Court, what they've now signaled on gay marriage. The hospital imposter wearing his lab coat, his stethoscope, for weeks. Authorities now say he was no doctor. And my interview with Julianne Moore, her roles, her life, and the silent struggle in so many homes. Who she's standing up for tonight. From ABC News World Headquarters, this is ABC World News Tonight with David Muir. Good evening, and it's great to have you with us on this Friday night, and we begin with new developments from New York to London and around the globe. Cities on high alert heading into this weekend, terror sweeps in major European cities. Those arrests now include an 18-year-old woman at an airport in London. And tonight, the chilling new discovery from that crackdown in Belgium. SWAT teams moving in, the gunfire shouting what they are now revealing about that sting, who the terrorists were really targeting. 
In a moment, the FBI warning to police stations in this country that high stakes call with police chiefs from coast to coast. But we begin here with ABC's Alex Marquardt with new images from Belgium. Tonight, we're learning more about the deadly police raid in Belgium that foiled a terrorist plot to kill police officers in the streets and in the stations. This operation uh, was meant to dismantle a terrorist cell. The aftermath, two suspects dead, boarded up windows and bullet holes. Police found AK-47s, pistols, communication.